Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of The Belco Experiment. <laughs> I am a huge horror fan in general, but I have to say I love high concept horror in particular. And the Belco experiment provided a high concept out of the box or trapped inside the box style battle royale horror film. And I have to say, I had a good time. We had quite a few problems that keep this from being like a great horror film, but I think it was solid. First of all, I think this is very much along the lines of something like The Purge. And like the original Purge film, it is a mixed bag. I think the overall concept is stronger than the actual execution. But speaking on that overall concept, I think it was a really cool concept to begin with. The fact that you're trapped with your co-workers and you're given instructions to kill each other or we'll go ahead and do it for you is an interesting concept. Whenever moral dilemmas are brought up in these horror films, it makes for really thought-provoking ideas for the audience and for those to explore within the film itself. And this definitely provides that. It has you kind of thinking like, oh my gosh, what would I do? If you have a family, it's so much different. If you're older, are you more sacrificial? Unfortunately, there's always kind of themes we see in these type of films, sometimes as well as in society. But it gets you thinking like, would I be considering it? Would I consider killing my coworkers? And what would be my strategy to get rid of them? And this is definitely rated R horror. This is gruesome and graphic. There is a ton of carnage. Lots of people get killed in lots of different ways. So in that aspect, it's a fun, good time. It's just like high adrenaline, high gore type of horror. Plus, I think the acting for the most part was solid for a scary movie in particular. They really did a good job because scary movies, whew, the acting can really go sideways real quick. But I don't think there were any fantastic performances here, um, but everybody did a solid job. I also appreciate that the film didn't take itself serious. It's part of this kind of weird resurgence of really fun and almost comical horror films. They add so much kind of outlandish choices in here from music to different ways to killing the people that it makes for just kind of a really fun atmosphere. And I think they did a good enough job as well about making you care enough for a lot of the different people that it, it did make you sad. Like as you were watching some of these things, you started to feel bad for some of them. You had people to root against. So it had like the groundwork of stakes and emotional tie-ins for the audience. We didn't get any backstory beyond that for any of the characters, but eh, I mean, when you have this big of an office and you know you're gonna kill a whole lot of them, you don't really wanna spend too much time developing backstories now, do you? So on to the negatives. I think that as cool and awesome as this original concept is, unfortunately, it falls apart pretty easily. First of all, I would have really liked to know what the Belco company is supposed to actually be doing. Like, what were these people told to get them to accept these jobs, to get them into this building? What is their goal by even being here? We're kind of told it's a nonprofit. We're kind of told a couple of things, but we never really know what this company even is. So what is so great that would lure these people into said situation? Secondly, I think the job in and of itself was already pretty unrealistic. Like the amazing benefits they give you, come on. And then who in their right mind would let a job put a tracker in them? They use some excuse about, you know, Columbia being very dangerous, so we need to make sure we can kind of keep you safe. But huh, as soon as they were like, okay, now before you get to start, we have to put this little tracker in you, I'd be like, deuces, bye, I gotta go. And then when we get the big reveal of what is actually going on, what is actually happening, that also doesn't really make sense. I'm not gonna talk about it because obviously that would lead us right into spoiler territory. But the reasoning for all of this happening 
it, it just doesn't make sense. It, it has pretty much no basis and you're like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> so while it all starts out kind of high concept and cool, it quickly devolves into just a straight up dumb gore fest. And that is really disappointing because as soon as we really get rolling with the killing, we kind of just turn off the brain and start shooting that gun and swinging that axe. Which has its own merit and as I said, leads for kind of a fun time for horror fans. But it would have been nice to kind of continually be thinking and continually be intellectually challenged. As we received this creative way of killing people, it would have just been nice to also be mentally stimulated. So overall, I think the Balco experiment felt more just like a bare bones hypothesis that hadn't yet fully been realized, hadn't yet fully been fleshed out. It was just a grand, cool, new idea, but then it just devolved into the same old, same old, and didn't live up to the potential it promised. But if you are a fan of horror, and in particular, like more gory graphic horror films, I say give this a full price ticket. It's fun enough. You can go, just turn off your brain, and have a good time with it. If you like horror, but not so much that kind of brainless graphic horror, I think this is a rental. I think you'll like it enough. I think you'll really enjoy it for that price point, but I don't think you need to pay full price to see it. And otherwise, obviously, you can just give it a skip. It's not a horror film that requires you to see it. It doesn't bring anything new to the table. So if you're not a fan of the genre, you probably aren't going to like this very much and you can just bypass it altogether. So that has been my review of The Balco Experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see the Balco experiment? And if you have, what did you think? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.